So we're going to move on now. And we're going to talk about a story mm -hmm. uh, involving body shaming. It's insane. To Ooh. Me. <laughs> <laughs> this one's fun. There is a <laughs> university volleyball player who says she was kicked off of her volleyball team for posting sexual or sexy pictures to Instagram. Her coach called her out. This is her right here. Shalom is her name. Okay. She, beautiful. Beautiful picture. This Stunning. is one of the pictures in question. Her coach, you can see it here. Mm -hmm. Shalom, please remove these pictures today. Shalom uh, later in that post or in the text message between her and her coach says that, Coach, I had a really good hair day. I really liked my makeup. I'm not showing off my boobs in this picture, is which is what she thought the coach like, sorry, was upset I have about. Cleavage. I have cleavage. She said, It seems like you are saying that if I have a flat chest and if I don't have a a great body mm -hmm. that I shouldn't be able to post these sorts of pictures onto Instagram. Right. That's not th that that happens so often to women. Mm -hmm. So often to women. Um and it's just your perspective like she was fired that she what? was kicked off of the volleyball team. So what? this is a girl who started off at a different school, transferred to this school mm -hmm. so that she could play volleyball for the team mm -hmm. and then 5 days after this conversation was had via text message between her and her coach, the coach asked her to leave the team. Why? Why is is the coach female? Coach is female. Okay, she is female. This is a volleyball thing. team. This just unless happened. you have lived under a rock, volleyball outfits are made out of spandex. Yes, oh. you they play. are tight. I played for a long time. They live. They leave very little to the imagination. Mm -hmm. That picture is fine. Why do people get so? And I'll ask the females here and also the male. Why mm -hmm. do people get so uncomfortable okay. when a little bit of the top of your chest is showing? It, 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 when your shoulders show, I know right. sometimes, and it's a conversation we have here as well, mm -hmm. and I know we're in an environment where mm -hmm. we get on, on the news, and of course, this is early in the morning, but a lot of times people will say, don't show too much of your shoulder. Right. Mm -hmm. And my conversation is, why, why does my shoulder make you feel a mm -hmm. certain way? Right. Why does it sexualize the so Last shoulder? Last time That's I it. checked, it was a bone that hangs off of my neck. <laughs> a joint I, of sorts. <laughs> and sometimes it looks like a sausage is hanging off of you know, my it, shoulder. It's so, you know, it's not like no, it's not the sausage. No, it's not Megan Tell. It's no, it's like so I get it. If that's what is making you uncomfortable, then I, I still don't understand uh -huh. it. But, no. but why, especially when another woman has so to I, come into play? And her hair's I need to her bring shoulders. this up. She says that other players on her team who have more mm -hmm. slender figures, oh. less curvaceous, oh, no. have posted pictures in bikinis on Instagram. The and coach okay. didn't ask them to take those down. Mm. It, it's and so yet, funny. This is she a, had to. You mm -hmm. notice how Rob can't even say anything? <laughs> there was this story that ran a couple <laughs> years ago, a team, a news team in Australia. Okay. You know, because women on TV get mm -hmm. a lot of flack for what we wear. TV Women, period, because she wasn't on TV. She was a volleyball player. Mm -hmm. So there was a co-anchor duo. I'm going to say you guys, oh, too. Yeah, yeah. This guy wore the same suit every day. Yes. When I say mm -hmm. every I'm a every what? day. Literally every day. Every day, every day for an extended period of time. It was a it was year. A, it was a year. What? A whole year? A, a navy I'm sure blue suit. Don't. Every of course the ties and the shirts changed, but it was a navy blue. He may have blue, washed or like you know overnight. Yeah, mm -hmm. navy blue suit <laughs> every single day for a year. And to no prove one. A point. Go ahead. Okay. And no and no one noticed. But oh. she had the pressure of wearing something different often because we talk about that mm -hmm. wearing Listen, something that is appropriate day. that doesn't make people comfortable and it's like. The two mindsets here. When you get ready in the morning, you're thinking about, oh, can't wear my guns. You know, it's just right. two mm -hmm. different things on presenting. I do not have a solution. It's just a conversation that we're having because yeah. I'm all about having a conversation. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a lot going on when it's like projecting onto a woman and how she dresses. Mm -hmm. And it's like, can we ease up just a little bit? This mm -hmm. also plays into, there was a Saints dancer. She was also let go for a picture. And I'm going to tell you, I'm again, I worked in Louisiana. The Saints <laughs> dancers, they look like they're dancing in a bikini. She wore something that was at least one piece. It still looked like a bikini, mm -hmm. and she was still fired for wow. the post on Instagram. I have mm -hmm. it here. I haven't shared it, but it's like right here. That's um, wild. Who else? Kelly Josh, Rippa. Yes. Kelly Rippa okay. is facing backlash because of her vacation photo. That's she was in the water wearing a swimsuit, mm -hmm. her and her husband, Normal. and now she's being Mark body and shamed, and she looks really good for 40 And, and her girl. husband came to her defense and of said, course. look, she's... She looks good in a bikini at 47. Right. She will continue to wear a bikini for years to come. Look at her. Have I looked and, like that? Yeah, he defended her. 29. Wait, wait, <laughs> like, that wait. Be his nice. face is being covered up. But it's like, oh, that's He's a happy, happy man. man. <laughs> yes. I grew up watching them on soap opera. So soap just, opera. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. But yeah, no, um, she's it in the water. It comes down to jealousy. That that's my take on yes. it. Mm -hmm. if, if someone else is gonna hate on this, she's a mom. Okay, so what? Moms and forty-seven year olds can't wear bikinis. I don't she look like that on my off, vacation. Literally. She cycles every day. Yes, okay? her yeah. Instagram stories are lit with pictures of her working out. Oh. She has a trainer, and she posted from the exact same vacation 
a picture of Mark from the back yes. looking at his muscles glistening in the oh. sun. And she was like, look at my man. And no he one is so saying they're uncomfortable by seeing his back. Can not we not comfortable by seeing her belly. Can we it's a hole celebrate. in the middle of her stomach. Mm -hmm. Why Can we not just celebrate this Hollywood couple for a minute who have been, Can we? been together this yes. whole time and they seem so into each yes. other. Yes, they look amazing. And she's had three kids, boom. And the one, the <laughs> oldest boy looks exactly like Mark. Oh, mm. really? I love that They family. are twins. If y'all looking for a babysitter or a doctor <laughs> yes. or something, I just want to be in your glow. And Lola's sometimes. the sassy one. They have a daughter and yeah. two sons. And the little one, I think, is going to get into television. He's always oh. on the show. He's like, <laughs> oh, Joaquin. 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 Yeah. Yes. So let's celebrate oh, yes. the love and adoration <sighs> in that relationship and not the body shaming that, you know, she's worked yeah. so hard. It kind of goes to the whole name calling thing in the comments. Don't body shame. Don't name call. Like, mm -hmm. let, let's just live in a world where we're just a little little bit nicer. Are we having nicer comments come through? Well, mm -hmm. Kelly Go ahead. is lucky in this one because she's a celebrity. She's going to come out on top of this. Mm -hmm. But that volleyball player can no longer play the next season <gasps> because NAAC or okay. NCAA, NCAA rules. Sorry, I've been talking about NAAC. <laughs> uh, NCAA rules say that if you play for one school within your conference, you cannot transfer to another school and play the next season in that conference you have to wait an entire year and mm -hmm. you lose that year of eligibility and so it's what the heck now she's missing out on an opportunity to be her best self play mm -hmm. a game that she loves and how's that going to affect her academic career yeah because if Lots she was motivated mm -hmm. by this exciting game that she loved to play she doesn't have that yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's, the first, the, we started, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I no. just thought the contrast, okay. we started the story with the body shame from the curvaceous woman, and then we body shamed the, the super thin. thin woman. Everyone. Nobody can win. It's, Nobody's <laughs> winning. Well, what did you tell me last there. night? What? When I people say start to stuff. see themselves the way God sees them, we're going to get all sorts of religious. <laughs> that is when people will be happy and will understand their true value. Oh, no, your life That's is your ministry. Friend, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you should see yourself the way God sees Kirsten. you. And the way Kirsten comes through with mm -hmm. the messages is so real. <laughs> you start we have to, to decompose. Praise God. Oh, okay. and 